a walk through Cam Greaves in the demilitarized zone of Korea. Many of us got a pretty good view of Korea's demilitarized zone or DMZ when Sonia Jin's Shebol Harris, Yoon Seri from the south tumbled into the life of North Korean officer Captain Ree Jong Hyuk in the K-drama Crash Landing on You. While the series did add the place onto many recent must-see tourist lists, it used to receive about 1.2 million visitors annually pre-pandemic as per the Korean tourist authorities. Not your average tourist spot, the isolated area of DMZ seems to attract many, especially as it allows you a glimpse of life across the border. From the observation deck on top of Mount Dora or Dorasan, you can see a North Korean village literally a stone's throw away from a South Korean village, along with stretches of forest cover that apparently house endangered otters, water deer, and spoonbills. Korean Armistice Agreement was signed on July 27, 1953, between North and South Korea, when the Korean War that began on June 25, 1950, was suspended, not ended. Both armies withdrew by two kilometers on either side from the military demarcation line, also known as MDL, or the border between the two countries along the 38th parallel north latitude. This area is called the Demilitarized Zone or DMZ. It essentially refers to an area that belongs to a nation but troops cannot be stationed on it as per international laws. The Korean DMZ is located in the Gyeonggi-do province outside Seoul, which is known for its ceramics, the Hwasong Fortress, and the Royal Buddhist Temple. Extending from the DMZ for about 10 kilometers on either side is the Civilian Control Line or CCL. Traditionally, this is a highly restricted area, but there were always villages here prior to the partition, especially soybean farmers. So following the armistice, as the focus was changed to defense of the DMZ area and that of the ceasefire line, the South allowed residents of the farming village to continue living there and farming. But they do have to follow strict access rules and have curfews and a checkpoint. About two kilometers away from the DMZ, within the civilian area, is located Cam Greaves. What is Cam Greaves? It is one of the oldest U.S. military bases in South Korea, which was built in 1953 and served as a base for the 506th U.S. 2nd Infantry Division for about 50 years. Until the division withdrew in August 2004, according to the Cam Greaves literature provided to visitors. It was then turned into what is now known as an experiential facility in 2013 by the Korean provincial authorities. It features several exhibition halls and projects as part of Cultural Regeneration Initiative, the only one of its kind within the civilian control line. In fact, Cam Greaves is now known as a filming site for K-dramas, TV shows and music videos. A famous example is the Song Junki Song Heiko Stara, Descendants of the Sun. Uruk is a fictional place in the series, and Captain Yu Si Jin, along with his troops, were filmed at the Camp Greaves Experience Center. One of the most interesting exhibits at the center is the Powder Magazine, which is essentially a concrete building that can withstand within it in case of an explosion. It was built to supply ammunition to U.S. bases in the Munsan area. Currently, it houses various art installations that aim to promote peace. The other major project is the Gallery Greaves special exhibition titled Portrait of the Days of Youth, Days of Our Youth. It includes moving images, footage, pictures and stories of soldiers and correspondents from the Korean War fought for three years from 1950 to 1953 with over 3 million casualties. It encapsulates the loss, pain, tragedy and brutality of the Korean War, the scars it left on the hearts and minds of a people still hoping for a peace treaty.